Well, Marco did it. Switch babies. He really didn't want to do it. But come on, could you turn Karen down? That girl could sell me the Brooklyn Bridge. Switching babies was just one of the many misadventures Marco Dane gave us over the years. And here's something even I didn't know about. Would you believe that Marco was only supposed to be on the show for eight days and then out? But he became so instantly popular that he stuck around for a full decade. Marco Dane was a real favorite of mine. Nothing that could be done to prevent it. Peter? Oh, I'm glad you're here. I guess that uh, Mario has just told you what's happened. Yeah, his diagnosis is respiratory failure. That baby died 20 minutes ago. Well, uh, Katrina Carr will have to be told as soon as possible. Really? Why? Well, Karen, I, I'm afraid in cases like this, it is best to tell the mother immediately. He knows that, right? Eh? I don't think there's anything to be gained by telling her right now. It's very late, and I'm sure she's asleep by now. <clears throat> there's no point in waking her up to give her bad news. Yeah, but that means we're going to be the ones to tell her tomorrow morning. You see, her own obstetrician should do it, but he's not going to be in until tomorrow afternoon. All right, Sam. I understand that. I'll tell her. I think she should be told first thing in the morning, though. <clears throat> Karen, your Katrina car is... Uh, closest friend, I think that you should be there. Well, well, really, I mean, that doesn't make it, well, I'm sure uh, that'd be all right. You don't mind? No, no, it's not that I mind, it's just that I, I think that, um, she probably want to ask you a lot of questions and medical questions. I understand. I'll try to handle that as quickly and as efficiently as I can, but the important thing is that she's got something there for emotional support. Karen, I agree. I would really appreciate your help in this. But you know, right now, I think you should try to get home and get some rest. Uh, if you'll excuse us just for a minute, Peter, I need your advice on the Henderson baby. Um, sure thing. Well, what am I going to do when, uh, when I'm there when he tells her? Look, you must have known this was going to happen. Well, I didn't know I was going to be there when he told her. Well, look, we've come this far. There's nothing we can do now but go through with it. Come on, you're going to get that ride home, finally. She was a little girl. Hey. <laughs> I've got some baby pictures. I'll show them to you. No. No, no. I, I think she looks a lot more like you. Oh, uh, do you really? Yeah. <laughs> look, look, look at the way she moved your hand just then. <laughs> amazing. You know, what's really amazing is how much weight that child has put on. Really? Oh, I'm so glad. She was so tiny, I was afraid she was going to have a tough time. A baby switch. Pretty wild stuff. Well, life went on for Jenny and Katrina, who both took the news, or should I say the lie, rather badly. But in the summer of 1982, Jenny's world was about to come crashing down in the most shocking way. Join me tomorrow for part two of One Life to Live's unforgettable baby switch. You've got to see this one. Baby switch. Tonight, if a cop can't protect his own daughter from drugs, how can you? The shocking drug culture our kids face every day at school on an all-new high incident, ABC Tonight. Watch what happens when Jake is faced with Liza's heartbreaking betrayal on All My Children Today.